Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. It's Operation Glass Misery. You need to destroy the relay. Very difficult mission. James Robinson, engineer, not a big deal. Savage sit rep, not a big deal. Enemies wise, doesn't seem that bad. Chrysalid and Berserkers. However, we're ultimately just hunting for the queen. So hopefully she shows. Uh, we do have some extra PCS chips we can put on these guys. Um, Quasar's got space. Let's give him dodge. Kind of works for him. Uh, we're taking out Sneak, Lamtron, Exordus, Sick Hall, Quasar, and Cage. So we can shoot twice, shoot twice, shoot twice with Burst Fire. Uh, launch multiple grenades and Rupture. Shoot twice. And Banish. So that's like the primary plan to get rid of her. <laughs> but we gotta find her first. She might not even be here. But we're gonna keep doing missions until we find her. The other thing that we need to consider is uh, keeping people alive. Because as it turns out... If we have a faction class like the Hive, they don't count towards the enemy list. So if you have something you have to defeat uh, or clear the map of enemies, you need to keep another one alive before you get rid of the faction. Otherwise, it just ends, like which happened the last time. It also was explained to me that uh, because the, the queen was technically on that mission, but didn't get fought, she probably re generated all of her um all of her health by now so she would have regenerated previously but then from that mission regenerated even more should be fun today's log is from suggestive artifacts right for spud tanaka the Luth had some cool uh, extremely extraordinarily dangerous and versatile or has become extraordinarily dangerous and versatile on the battlefield able to reposition both them and enemies at will They've also been incredibly forbearing about being misgendered for the entire year by the commander. <laughs> Shit. And practically the whole crew of the Avenger. To the point that I sometimes nearly forget the correct pronouns myself. Shameful, given my own condition, I should know better. But I suspect they're too professional and focus on the more serious task of raiding the world of the Elders to care about correcting people who do this unintentionally. I had no idea. But thank you. To transmit critical data back to their network loss of that data will stop their latest project in its tracks. So okay, let's roll. To destroy the relay before they complete the transfer. We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. Neutralize them and secure the site. Hey, we got a relay at all costs. Menace 1 5. We got like a little mech. Relay is up ahead. Move in and That's destroy cool. the target. Our initial readings were correct, Commander. Micro missiles. The aliens have clearly unleashed their most unrestrained subjects on this area. Okay. Uh, we have seven turns to get here and deal with this thing, which we also need to try and achieve. All I'm hoping for is that we can see, like, the, oh, Hive Queen activity, and then we'll know, and we'll have to hunt. Go scouting. Ooh, hello. Okay, no queens. Those are just the chrysalids that we were already notified of. Come in here. Careful. There is pretty open back here too, but it seems like we're fine. Go, go, go. Uh, Quasar. Yes, here is gonna have to do. Conrad, come on in. Location confirmed. And then we'll keep the mech back here so that we don't um accidentally trigger on that. Oh! She's here. She's here. She's here. Okay. Where is she? This is going to be the hardest thing, is trying to juggle, like... We're going to have to kill these guys, so... We're just going to have to keep something alive somehow and then find the queen. Might have to pull off some weird trickery, but I also need to kill the th this thing, so we're on a bit of a timer. Which is profoundly annoying. Oh, yeah. I should have given him that other gun because now we have two stocks. We have Lamtron. I'm sorry, not Lamtron. Uh, Exordus with the Arashi. And we've got him with that... Um, legacy pack weapon. 
Wouldn't mind getting you some kills. Uh, I'm going. We can start building some soul harvest. Uh, yeah, we should be able to pull this off. Sneak. Let's go. Hey, at least we know the queen is here. At least we have that. Oh, very nice. Very nice. So this is going to trigger that other group. Oh, he's up top. I'm there. Thanks for making my job easier. Hey, a bunch of AP. I'll take it. Quasar? What are you doing, Quasar? Oh, thank you. This cover doesn't really matter, but let's give these guys one round to Overwatch. We'll see if that group walks back into us. Oh, they're going away. Oh, there's another group back there. Where's the queen at? Well, just great. Let's blue move with Sneak. This should give me eyes on, actually. I have sight beyond vision. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Does he not see that? I don't know how I'm going to do this without engaging that whole group. I'll be true. Whatever you say. He's showing like a squad site thing, but that's not actual. What's over there? No problem, boss. Okay, so hold on a sec. Can we not? Yes, covering out. Oh boy, we might take shots here, and they might run right past him if we don't kill these. Looks like we're not going to be doing. Nice shot. Oh no. Oh, stay there or die. Wow. Saved by the cannon. Maybe. You're putting damage on. Oh god damn, he's coming through. Oh no. Oh no. Rage suit, okay. You cannot run. And now, with all of these things active, we also need to we we still need to keep something alive. And we don't even know where the queen is. Him being panicked could be good for us. <sighs> How come I can't target the objective? We could see all of these enemies. I don't quite understand that. And. We'll get Sneak to pick this up.
We have a couple of shots here. Now, what do we want to keep alive? So the, th the thing is, the, the Hive Queen can mind control chrysalids. So that's bad. Berserkers, though, I guess we have things like Blinding Protocol. Um, to kind of deal with them. We have the Rage Suit for some potential panic. The nice thing is, cover doesn't really matter in this scenario. Right, I'll go. Let's try and clear out the chrysalids. We'll try and... I guess we'll have to somehow leave, like... One... I'm berserker going. alive. We have the stock on the Arashi. Doesn't even need it. Not too shabby. Um, Quasar, with your retribution, probably want to bring you in a bit. Be uh, the target. Damn. I want to also try and save abilities where possible. Because uh, we're going to need to dump everything into the queen. Very nice shot. Well, that one's panicking. Let's leave it. That berserker is going to get to do whatever it wants. Nice shots. I'm going to suppress this. Oh, the withering barrage. Okay, okay. Nice little bonus. And then we can 60% this, but that's going to be about it. Now, if he comes in towards Quasar, I feel okay. If he goes towards Sneak, I feel less okay. Could have maybe just gone for a suppression there too, but still panic. Nice shot. God. I mean, that... Oh! Okay. That plan's kind of working. I don't think so. That was closer, though, than it should have been. This is excellent. Ah, oh, okay. Now what? That's karma. Oh, and a crit. Yep, sure. Cool. Think about it. Totally fine. Um... No, not the Fulton Harness, please. Let's heal here. Uh, we can build the soul harvest. Now, I'm going to need to leave him alive. Um, and I also don't want to... I guess I could frost him, but we kind of want to use all of those on... Queen? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I trigger it? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. We didn't trigger, but we're, like, right on. 
Hey, at least we know where they are. Let's bring these guys all over. No need to ask twice. Running. All right. Let's see. I don't know why I can't tr why I can't target this thing. A full dash. I'm hoping we can activate here. Oh. I think I'm going to conceal here. Well, we got eyes on. Ooh, okay. Hunt. Hive guards, hive warriors, hive queen. I mean, this is definitely frost bomb territory. Whatever you say. Can't reach. So I guess my plan is to um, sit back here, I guess. I'm going. For right now, we're really dancing around those guys. If this could frost, that would be very helpful. Okay, that's not good. It's still moving. I'm going to bring Jergal here. Quasar here. I'm able to have these guys kind of like battle. At least for one round. Um, I wouldn't mind overwatching. But I don't want this Berserker to eat up overwatches. Oh, this is going to be so awkward. Yeah, I'm going to put him right next so he doesn't even have to move. And I'm hoping that these overwatches should trigger on the group down here. It looks like I can go here, get out of vi vision from there. The only thing is he would have gotten extra overwatches, right, from Wele? Yeah. Oh, well. Ah, oh, he is running. My god. Oh, they're just gonna kill him. Ah, oh, you, you, you guys. You guys. Well, we're live. Holy moly. We have three turns to kill her, basically, right? Because otherwise... Ooh, that's really nice. Minus the whole armor deal. Off the armor. Look at this team. What the frick? Okay. Two turns, basically. I don't love that this whole group is here. Um, I mean, we have to drop Fire this. Out. Yeah, and she's full health, too. If I salvo this... Oh, I'd have to do this one first. This can hit three. Get ready for a surprise. I'm going to put this mech out here as hopefully a distraction. Yeah, see, neutralize all enemy targets done. But really have two turns. Let's 
Let's bring this guy out. Let's actually see what these guys are capable of. So the Hive Queen herself, we've seen before. Established dominance, so mind controlling chrysalids. She regens uh, a large sum of health. She can do this twice and generates armor. Uh, sticky secretion to pin prey in place. Reinforcements. Heals 2 HP anytime she takes damage. Immune to fire, poison, and mental. Hmm. Let's see if I can hit two here, but no. Let's just go for this. Try to shred as much as possible. Um, I could homing mine. Take our free reload here. I could drop an aid protocol over there just to maybe provide some chances that they miss. Maybe he survives, but if they hit once, he's likely dead. Um, we could throw down a smoke on this group, which we'll probably do. I've got Rage Strike to get in there. Um, then maybe I try to go up top. Mind you, do we wait to Rage Strike so we can try to freeze again? After this one? Somehow Cage can't see the queen from here. It's a bit sus. I almost wonder if we use him to put a zone suppression on. But that withering barrage. Um, what else does he have? Oh, it. We'll take this to shred the rest, blow up the thing. One forty six. God, he's just so he's got so much. We're going to whiplash here. I like our positions. They're going to have to expend a lot of movement to get to us if they come in. That was a nice crit, actually. Okay. Cover doesn't really matter, but his aim is kind of bad. I can handle that. We've got the steady burst fire. Probably our best chance. This is pretty nice. She's the only one that's not in it, unfortunately. I don't really want to give up the steady burst. She hit both. Man, there's just so much. 
Um, <laughs> if we banish here, we're totally, totally screwed in this position. I think I gotta pull back here because these guys would just destroy him. Oh, we only checked her. What do these guys do? Hive guard acid cannon. Shoots a glob of corrosive acid. Immune to everything. Squad sight. Hardened carapace with massive fuse plays. Takes 66% less explosive damage. Massive shielded limbs to give it a 25% chance to deflect an incoming attack. And melee resistance. Good to know. That's the hive guard. That's the hive warrior. Adrenal rush, hyperreactive senses. Okay. Yeah, I think we gotta try and pull you back. Cover doesn't matter, so let's just go. I go where I am needed. I think we'll take this extra damage here. And then let's do this. Bring in the pain. Okay, withering barrage, sure. Oh, we got it on her too. Yeah. One action point lost. Wow. We did uh, 70 damage. We need to do 90 this turn. We will have a banish. Oh, God. Good heal. Why not? Look at that shit right there. Oh, it's trying to run? And look, our little mech trooper out there is doing pretty good. Oh! Go for him. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even if they kill him there, he serves his purpose. This is our last chance. Okay. Now we rage strike in here. He's trying to get out. He's scared. Or she's scared. Okay. Um, free reload this. I might not even snap freeze. I don't have a free reload here. Oh man, that sucks. It's killing time. Ouch. He's got that stock with the, uh... uh... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this done. This is gonna hurt Quasar, too. Wait, hold on. Actually. We're gonna put this on. Should have did this first. I do still have I actually still have the movement from him. So what I could do is I can move. That's his that'll be his free movement action. Then I could like wrath back in. And we have enough for the snap freeze or two shots. Okay. Okay, so we drop a banish here. Wait, let's actually free reload this. I'm reloading. Every shot counts. Time to join your gods. Come on now. Oh, he take he does. Is he gonna heal after each banish shot too? Oh, he is. That's so annoying.
Holy frick. She's at 50. Oh, she's at 50. Oh, I love that I could I could send a repair out here. That ain't happening. We have two shots at 100 from Lamb. Everything's reduced by two. No rounds. 34. Oh, Titan Strike. Hell yeah. That's free for him. Twenty seven. Twenty nine. I think I have to go uh, Acid Bomb again, and then I can still shoot, right? Because that was free. It was not in my turn. Guys, I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we might pull this off. Targeting the right thing here. You know what? It's crazy, but I'm going to drop this too. You know what? I don't even care if it's on me. Let's place it. Fifteen, nice crit, actually. Twelve. They call. Anything else I could do here? We have our two shots here. I think we're gonna have this, you guys. We're not going to get this. We're going to fail the mission, but we're going to kill the queen. But I, I don't even think I could target that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful. Careful. I do have a shot from this one, too, actually. Yeah, see? Like, look at this. We definitely should be able to shoot this thing from there, but it's just not letting me target it. Weird. 70. Oh, hell yeah. We got him. Er, it doesn't matter. It, she is going to die. Your goal? Can you land this? I'm going to bring you as close as possible. Come on. Got her. <laughs> that is, like, the amount of damage that she needs is ridiculous. Why can I not target this thing? I'll see if I can hit your ride. It's broken. I guess I could, what we could do is we could save and reload to see if that fixes it, but I don't want to mess up anything with the queen and whatever. I'm just happy that she's dead. If we fail the mission, we fail the mission. Oh my God, the amount of misses on this thing. There you go. Oh boy. Oh shit. have completed the transmission and closed the connection. We missed our chance. Area of you know what? Fine. 
I don't know. I think the relay was bugged. MVP, yeah, sure. Still feels pretty good, honestly, taking that queen down. Anticlimactic ending there, but... This is awesome. Okay, so... Now, we should be able to research the, uh... Or create... Some type of Hive Queen armor drop thing. In theory. And so the elders bless us with yet another victory. We are humbled. Oh, you're Taking so humbled. One more step towards the glorious future they promise us all. I don't think the Sky Rangers ever looked better. The soldier that joined us from the resistance is certainly a quick study. And we would have gotten out some of our way less capabilities or way fewer injuries. Um, however, they did miss a couple of swings on that mech, but they did go for him, which was dope. Then that acid bomb. There it is. The Hive Queen corpse. This is, she is by far the coolest ruler. No question. And... We had to, like, unload everything on her. Luckily, we could distract her little minions. Because without that, we would have had to deal with more of them, too, every turn. Okay. Okay. Reinforced heavy armor tech is happening. That's fine. We're going to let that finish. Then we're going to see uh, what type of research we need to do. Alien Cypher, it's fine. It's fine. Avenger plotting new course. Oh, I'm pumped. So we we do whatever it takes to get the Hive Queen gear, and then we go into the final phases I to of see the game. Clear of that tower myself. There's some strange energies so uh, heavy armor is going to get an increase of extra HP. Vector autopsy one day. We'll definitely do this. If we can disrupt the advent dampening field. Okay, let's go to heal. For West Asia. And I've asked on a couple of recent videos, but I really would like to hear your thoughts on who we take on the network tower and who we take in the final mission. Lost Horn may occur in any mission. Oh, great. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Okay. Queen. And then we should do the warlock weapons as well. Our action together 15 AP, very nice. We have dead put now at Colonel. Awesome. If you would order us, Commander, we will undertake a new means. Nine days for more AP? I think yes, definitely. We can just put in anybody. So let's put in Obelix from uh, Creative Xeno's mod team. And Shadow from Creative Xeno's mod team. Uh, we'll negate some wounds. Actually, <laughs> I'm going to hold this because the uh, the network tower, we want to spend all of our intel there. So. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Hey, okay, dead put. What do we take at max level here? Brutalized protocol. Attack an organic enemy with an overclocked punch, causing massive damage to it and forcing any organic target witnessing the mech to panic. Causes a melee damage reduction for rest of mission. All right, see, I don't like that. Don't love, I don't like that. Any enemy or any time an enemy fires in the mech, the mech will fire back as long as it has ammo remaining. I feel like that's pretty good. Absorption fields. If an attack would exceed 33% of a mech's maximum health, it gets limited to that percentage, or one if it would go below zero. Kind of like a safety net. More mobility in the field. Damn. 
Bat fire, eh. You know what? I think I'm going to take reactive targeting sensors. And then... Blanked or otherwise uncovered target with your lunar phase where it funds the action. It's not worker's abilities. This could be really nice too. So we're going to get all this AP and then basically for the final mission, we're going to dump any AP into the group that we're taking. So I'm going to hold on AP for now. Um, yeah. We should be able to get this next um, covert action done as well. Another important step forward in our research. Okay, Hive Armor Tech Proving Ground Project. People in Proving Ground know what to do with this. Okay. Warlock. Science is eager to begin, Commander. Commander. Proving Ground. Hive Armor Tech. Five Chrysalid Hive Drone Corpses, one Chrysalid Chameleon. Having the Hive Queen's Corpse, we need to put it to good use. Okay, this does not say anything about eating the uh, queen corpse, so I guess that makes sense. Hive armor tech. The hive queen armor is a lightweight titan plate armor. Parts of the queen's exoskeletal structure and other lightweight materials have been merged to give the wearer great mobility as well as keeping the natural armor. Queen's armor offers substantial HP and armor boost for its wearer. One Hive Queen armor has been added to the inventory. This is going to be so sick. Isn't it? Let's see. Um, let's see how Rogue looks in it. Actually, hold on. Somebody with more colors. Actually, Grim has a cool uh, black and white look. I have queen armor. Oh, shit. That is not at all what I was expecting. <laughs> what? Hive armor rending claws. The rending claws of the hive armor will shred four armor and add rupture to the target if hit. Well, the rupture is adding two damage. Whoa. Gives a 10% aim boost. Look at that. That's unbelievable, you guys. And it's also giving 8 health, 5 mobility, a little bit of dodge, extra aim from the, from the claws, I guess. And then armor of 2. So right now, he's got uh, 16 plus 6, one extra armor. 15 plus 8, two extra armor. The mobility, the dodge is whatever. And the aim from this too. That is awesome. Okay, I'm, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. Okay, so let's finish. Let's finish. We need to hit the warlock weapon. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. We have made a number of new discoveries, Commander. Boom. Hey, we don't even Just need to start get started, any of that. Gatling beam rifle. What's the difference between... Special beam technology that bypasses armor. We know that. And this has armor shred. Now, can anybody wear this? Because this is for the PsyOps, right? I wonder if anybody can use this. I'm going to make it. Um... More Titan armor. Titan armor is pretty strong. I think one is probably fine. Oh, yeah. It's the Grand Titan that's really strong. But I could make more of this if we wanted. 
looking at anything else we might need to build. I actually think like we're ready. We're ready to go. I don't think you'll find anyone on board this ship who feels the least bit sorry to hear. These are all instant. If anything, morale probably got a boost once word spread outside of the senior staff. I don't know if I'm going to end up using the wraith suit. They've always got a scheme. I only have two and cores available too. End up part of their cure, whether we like it or not. Experimental armor, probably not. We can make extra suits if we wanted to. I think I'll just hold. Okay, so this is where this is where I want to know. Well, we have to go three days to get those AP. We have to go three days. We can actually even just skip whatever mission pops too, if, if it does. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. So you saw mm, okay. through that one, eh? You must think you're pretty clever. Okay. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. Congratulations, Obelix. So, I think we do the network tower. So it's showing Gasping Apollo, Armored Psy Viper, Elite Shield Bearer, Bio Faceless, Elite Purifier, Andromedan, Heavy Mech, Elite Lancers. Now, there might be like a Forge Sectobot or 10. I don't know. Could be. Um, we could take, what, three people, I think? So everybody starts concealed. Squad Sight is really nice. Um, override soldier gains complete immunity from the next two attacks and crit, crit chances increased. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave it here and I'm going to listen for your suggestions and, um, go from there because I'd like to get you guys involved in deciding who we bring out on these final missions. Avent Tower into Commander, the, the final. The is currently idle. We're wasting valuable time and resources by not conducting any research. Please consider providing us with a directive as soon as possible. Okay. So here's here's our squad list. So we have Spud, obviously just amazing. It's very hard for me to not bring Spud and Philly on a mission. Um, on the final mission, even. They both add a, a lot of value. Um, Ando, the wind, he had a kind of a tough start, but towards the end, he just started just owning. Like, really, really powerful. Acheron basically carried us for the first half of the campaign. So, you can make a great argument for her. Philly, same thing. Like, Philly was... Philly not only kept everybody alive from healing, but also the amount of damage he was outputting. Um, oh, Philly's awesome. I would love to bring Philly. Rogue... I would love to bring as well. I feel like having an assault there would be really good. Pretty versatile to like run in. Um, he has untouchable. He's got put on the rage suit or the, the hive queen armor. Um, Lord Abizi would be great because we need to have um, a bunch of explosives out there. The only thing about Lord that I don't love is his aim. That's That's the thing that Lord has going against him. Uh, where's our other sappers? I think he's our only colonel. Yeah. I mean, Exordus is not that much better. So He does have demolition. So he can clear a space for others. But then you've got like uh, Freya, I already mentioned. You got Kaz, who just like he had a really cool, nice little rivalry with uh, Spud this whole time. They're both at 108 for aim. Uh... Bud has a little bit more movement. Kaz has a little bit more health. Deadput, I think, is a really good option to have on this final mission. Mech Trooper with tons of um, tons of defense, tons of health to chew through. We can put some AP into him to just make him really, really strong. We're sitting on uh, 46 AP. He's got 13 of his own. Something like Absorption Fields would be good. In the Zone would be good. Um... Yeah, like both of these, we could grab both if we wanted to. Guardy shoots back when shot against. This is just, yeah, I think I think he makes a great candidate to bring. 
Um, Noodles kind of came up out of nowhere as a field medic. Uh, Noodles was awesome. Very helpful this campaign. Blacklight, same kind of deal. Like, just kind of shot up through the ranks over time. The only problem is, is, like, how do you not take Philly when you, as a field medic on the last mission? You know? How do you not take him? It's tough. We have Oblivion. We have OD. Both of the, um, what are they called? Magistrates or Magus? What's their rank? Magus? Um, these guys we found later in the campaign, and they came in super strong, but I think you gotta bring one Psy operative, right? You bring one, they can wear the Psy gear, they have the Vorpal rifle, they have the mind control, they have, uh, like, specifically the mind control, the domination, just being able to take one thing to be with you maybe in that final room, um, would be quite helpful. The soul merge is really good. The null ward is really good. I think I would prefer taking um, Oblivion over Odie for those reasons. Also Schism, so they get the rupture, right? Um, Arika, probably not. I would lean more towards Freya. Freya has a better build as well. Uh, more reject Balatin is cool. He's a colonel. Um, Quasar, I would love to see out there, but not a colonel. Very close, though. 174 out of 175. Like, so close. Ugh. It's, like, disgustingly close, actually. Um, Jirgal kind of came up really quick over the last half of the campaign. Lamtron, actually, pff, great option to bring. Not gonna lie. Pretty good option. He can shoot twice. He's got aid protocol, blinding protocol, combat protocol, which is okay. Um, his last ability that he has, that EMP shockwave, 20% chance to shut down mechanical enemies, I guess could be okay. Um, you just start to think about that final room and what that plays out like. And when those avatars start spawning and you got to take them down quickly. That's, you know, shooting twice is so crucial. Enemies start coming in, it's hot. Shire was a late hire. Probably wouldn't bring him, but he did help us. Uh, I think. Yeah, one mission. Two kills. Spud, 112. Not bad. Uh, Ophelia Reaper Grim. I love Ophelia's build. This is the thing. So we found, Reap we found Reaper later in the campaign. But having just the perfect soldier skills um, might make might make uh, Ophelia a better option than Rogue, honestly. Even though we have the Rogue attachment, I think Reaper is the better pick because of Ever Vigilant and Take Cover. We can still we can still get the Take Cover, I believe, on uh, Dashboard if we wanted to. We can still take the this one at a cost. Um, we could also go with Unbreakable, which is a really nice um, skill. We could, I could be convinced to go back to Roving Warrior so that when we have this, we can kind of run and gun in, get close to stuff, take shots, and we could get a bunch of kills with this. We have this one. We get a non-movement action point refund after killing an enemy with a turn ending melee attack. So I think we should be able to like kill with swords if we get people low. I think that's how that works. But man, that's it's a tough call. Tough call. Just having that that zone of control. Hold on. Yeah, because that's the other thing. We would have to unlock zone defense. It's so strong. We have to unlock it. Plus zone of control here. Uh, let's see if Ophelia has that. Yeah, see? We've got the zone of control here. Zone defense. Untouchable. Relentless. Um, owned edge would probably be nice to pick up because we have relentless. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. That's why I'm kind of going through this list so that you guys can share what you think. And then, you know, everybody else, of course, has, has great arguments to be made. Great arguments to be made. So, 
It's like, what do you do? Emerald? Probably not. I definitely underutilized Emerald. Um, Chuckles did a lot of work for us in the last half of the campaign. Same with Art School. Uh, some of our lower level, lower level psionics. Uh, SD was doing work out there for a bit. So, anyways, we got we need a few of them to go on the Avent Network Tower, and then we need to go to the final mission. So, let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll take that into consideration, and we will go from there. All right, thank you so much. See you soon.